USC's cornerback has a knee injury. The team is on its third starting outside linebacker. The linebacker on the other side has played on a wounded ankle. The left tackle has experienced soreness in his two surgically repaired knees. The tight ends are hobbled. The Trojans have done themselves a favor by clinching the Pac-12 Conference South Division with time to spare. USC has two weeks, including the first bye of its season, to prepare for the conference championship game. But tight end Tyler Petit, who has a sprained shoulder, issued a reminder after USC's win over Colorado last weekend, I think a lot of people are forgetting that we do have one more game next week. The game, the last of the regular season, will have no effect on the Pac-12 standings. However, the opponent is UCLA, which puts coach Clay Helton in a predicament. Should he give his hobbled players a rest against a rival? Saturday's game will be USC's 12th in 12 weeks, and 13 starters have set out at least one game. Giving some of those players two weeks off before the championship game could give USC a significant boost, whether it faces Stanford, Washington State, or Washington. Helton indicated a distaste for the idea. This is the next game, he said. And we try to be 1-0 every week. Every week is the most important game to us. We treat each game like a playoff game, and this is no different than the previous 11 games that we played. Zach Helfand Colorado was looking for a big play Saturday, the kind that could somehow swing a lopsided game against USC into one in which a miracle could occur. So coach Mike McIntyre sold out to try to block USC's punt. The outcome was not a surprise. Colorado stormed in with eight players. USC had just. Colorado was looking for a big play Saturday, the kind that could somehow swing a lopsided game against USC into one in which a miracle could occur. So coach Mike McIntyre sold out to try to block USC's punt. The outcome was not a surprise. Colorado stormed in with eight players. USC had just. Zach Helfand. USC is unlikely to hold out players such as outside linebackers Uchinan Wosu and Christian Rector or left tackle Toa Lobendon, who are less than fully sound but have played through relatively minor injuries. But Helton could be more conservative with those players' usage. And he could hesitate to bring back players who are approaching a return from injury, such as cornerback Iman Marshall, who set out the last three games because of a sprained knee. Players indicated that they intended to treat the game against UCLA like any other rivalry game. Tight end Daniel Amaterbebe once compared USC's two main rivals, Notre Dame and UCLA, the game against Notre Dame, he said, is built on mutual admiration and respect. Whereas the UCLA rivalry is kind of based on hate and disrespect, he said. Defensive back Ajean Harris balked at the idea that USC could use the UCLA game as a breather, even though UCLA has struggled to a 5-5 record. I mean, we're Trojans, he said. It doesn't matter what standings or what rankings are. Renovation Update USC released more details about the Coliseum renovation. Senior Associate Athletic Director Steve Lopes said construction would begin immediately after the Rams season ends. Zach Helfand USC is the champion of the Pac-12 South Division. Are fans focusing too much on the negatives? Zach Helfand and Dylan Hernandez discuss this and other urgently pressing topics such as, are bison intelligent, if bison are intelligent, why does Colorado's mascot, Ralphie, keep running right into the USC is the champion of the Pac-12 South Division. Are fans focusing too much on the negatives? Zach Helfand and Dylan Hernandez discuss this and other urgently pressing topics such as, are bison intelligent, if bison are intelligent, why does Colorado's mascot, Ralphie, keep running right into the Zach Helfand About 1,850 Trojan Athletic Fund accounts, a total of about 7,500 seats, will be affected by the renovation. A small number, Lopes said, will have to move twice once while the renovation is underway in 2018 and a second time after completion before the 2019 season. 
USC has begun manually reseeding members of the Scholarship Club and the Committee the two highest donor levels a process that will run through December 5, said Ron Orr, Senior Associate Athletic Director for Development, and Tim Martin, USC Senior Associate Athletic Director for Business Development. From December 5 to December 22, USC will conduct online reseeding for remaining Trojan Athletic Club members and season ticket holders. Priority will be determined by donor level. Orr said that about 950 of 1,090 club seats have been sold, as have 20 of 21 founders' suites, which carry a one-time cost of $7.5 million and $10 million. Friday Night Fright Four Pac-12 teams have followed a Saturday conference game with a Friday night road game. All four lost. Three USC, Washington, and Washington State would have been in strong position to make the college football playoff if not for the loss. All three were favored. Has the Pac-12's schedule cost the conference a spot in the playoff? Dylan Hernandez Sam Darnold was in danger of becoming an afterthought, his early season interceptions and USC's two defeats diminishing the widespread enthusiasm over his breathtaking talent. In the relative obscurity of what feels like an underwhelming season for the number 11 Trojans, however, Darnold quietly reinvented. Sam Darnold was in danger of becoming an afterthought, his early season interceptions and USC's two defeats diminishing the widespread enthusiasm over his breathtaking talent. In the relative obscurity of what feels like an underwhelming season for the number 11 Trojans, however, Darnold quietly reinvented. Dylan Hernandez Helton declined to blame the schedule makers. That's somebody else's job. That's not mine, he said. A lot smarter men than me make those decisions. USC also played a Friday road game following a conference game last season against Utah. That also resulted in a loss. Quick hit. According to Pro Football Focus, running back Ronald Jones too has run for more than 100 yards after contact in each of the last three games. HTML body article aside details fig caption figure footer header group NAV section summary DLDD DTIMG display, block, margin, zero, padding, zero, head style dot galleries after content, display, block, background color, number FF5443, margin, 16px auto zero, height, 5px, width, 100px, Dot galleries before content, sports videos, display, block, font, 723px slash 25px Belizeo, Georgia, droid serif serif, text align, center, color, number 1E1E1E, dash, caption. The time Sam Farmer and Lindsay Theory discuss the Rams' tough road ahead after they defeated the Houston Texans on Sunday to improve to 7-2. The Times Sam Farmer and Lindsay Theory discuss the Rams' tough road ahead after they defeated the Houston Texans on Sunday to improve to 7-2. Caption The Times Sam Farmer and Lindsay Theory discuss the Rams' tough road ahead after they defeated the Houston Texans on Sunday to improve to 7-2. The Times Sam Farmer and Lindsay Theory discuss the Rams' tough road ahead after they defeated the Houston Texans on Sunday to improve to 7-2. Caption the Times' Bill Plasky, Gary Klein, and Lindsay Theory break down the Rams' 33-7 victory over the Houston Texans on Sunday at the Coliseum. The Rams improved to 7-2. The Times' Bill Plasky, Gary Klein, and Lindsay Theory break down the Rams' 33-7 victory over the Houston Texans on Sunday at the Coliseum. The Rams improved to 7-2. Caption The 2017 Breeders' Cup is underway in Del Mar and opened to a packed house. The 2017 Breeders' Cup is underway in Del Mar, and opened to a packed house. Caption Chargers quarterback Philip Rivers speaks about the dominant Jaguars' defense. Chargers quarterback Philip Rivers speaks about the dominant Jaguars' defense. Caption Deontay Wilder will defend his heavyweight title against Bermain Stavirn on Saturday. Deontay Wilder will defend his heavyweight title against Bermain Stavirn on Saturday. Zach.Helfand at latimes.com Follow Zach Helfand on Twitter at Gelfand.